All right, I'm going to attempt to uh, do his hair today. I'm going to have his hat hanging off the back of his neck. Uh, it's just, I think, will work better for the design. And I'm not sure that this is going to work for his hair, but uh, got to try. Time to play with some clay. I've got somebody coming by to watch in just about an hour or so. So I'll do as much as I can before they get here. They're here from Wisconsin. And uh, they bring me cheese from Wisconsin, which is such a plus. <laughs> anyway, they're good friends. I've known them for years. Uh, I took pictures of the husband riding his horse many years ago as a reference for uh, some sculptures I did later on. I met them through a mutual friend uh, who used to live here in my Ennis, but uh, she's moved down to uh, Texas and she keeps on trying to get me to move down to Texas but it's too darn hot down there for me I just don't think I survive I did a similar hair design on a sculpture I did years ago of a young cowboy having his morning coffee by the campfire. He hadn't quite put his shirt on yet. He's holding his shirt in one hand and a cup of joe or coffee in the other. I always like that hair. Try to I think I got the ear too big. Yeah.
I'm using a glyptic wire tool. These are were designed by uh, the person who owns uh, Sculpture Depot in Loveland, Colorado. Uh, if you want to get these, uh, you can only get them through her um, at Sculpture Depot. They come with different handles. Uh, this, these are the small handles, and I bought four of them because I wanted to have four different wire um, adapt uh, adaptions for the uh, handles, and they come with uh, wire loops that are designed for these, this particular size of a handle. And uh, this is a larger handle, and it has uh, wires that you can put in the uh, handle here, uh, and they got a whole selection of the hand wires that you uh, can put into the handle. These are, uh, you, you put the wire into the uh, a little s hole right there at the top of the uh, uh, handle, and then you got an Allen wrench screw that you tighten up on the uh, wire and it uh, locks it in. Um, a lot of times, uh, wooden handled wire tools the uh, wire will break loose after a time or, or uh, pull out of the uh, uh, brass sleeve that goes down over it to hold it in place. Um, this one did that a long time ago and I had to glue it together and then I put uh, a putty around it called Fast Steel and uh, that locked it in and repaired it but it you don't have to worry about that with these because if the uh, wire tool comes loose, uh, you just tighten the Allen screw and it, it's like brand new. And they won't break on you either, which is a big plus. All right, I'm gonna attempt to the, do the ear. Again, just moving with little bits of clay. I'm gonna switch over to a ball tool. up the uh, bottom of the wire. I'm trying to get it back in there.
Come on in! All right, the, my friends uh, just left, and uh, I just thought I'd let you know what I did. I did put the uh, horse and the, the uh, bull together, and uh, I uh, found that I had the head of the cowboy looking in the wrong direction, so I had to change that a little bit. I'm holding the camera because I already dismounted the camera from the uh, swing arm. Um, but uh, I just wanted to show you how this looks is looking. I just wanted to double check on the uh, position of the head. And he was looking a little more to the uh, uh, right than I wanted. So I had to turn his head more to the left to make it look at the uh, bull instead of away from the bull. All right, uh, that's about all I'm going to be able to do today. I had a nice visit, and uh, it was fun having people come over and visit for a few minutes. I'll uh, end this video now, and I'll see you guys next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.